God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. You are welcome to this platform where we pray the prayers of the 50 days fasting and prayers of redeemed Christian Church of God. And I want to believe that God has been renewing your strength. He's been encouraging you to keep going in this journey. And I pray that you will end well, you will finish well. You will end with testimonies and new songs to sing in the name of Jesus. My name is Olumide Odesoya. Together on this platform, we'll be praying today's prayers. Today, the 24th day of our fasting and prayers. And the focus of our prayers today is for ministers and missionaries. Shall we pray? Most High God, we thank you for your gift, your grace, and your call upon our lives and upon all the lives of the ministers and pastors serving in your church. We say thank you in Jesus' name. As we call upon you, O God, Father, let there be revival. Father, let there be encouragement. Let your power be released afresh and anew upon your ministers to do the work that you have committed into our hands. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So the 24th day of our fasting and prayers, we are praying for ministers and missionaries. We are going to read one text from all the texts that have been given to us. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26, the word of the Lord says, In journeys often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by the hidden, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. This was Paul speaking about the challenges he had to go through as a minister of the gospel. Several challenges, several perils, several troubles, hard times that he had to be confronted with as a minister of the gospel. Hence, we need to pray for pastors and ministers because the challenge ahead of them is so huge that only God who had called them will be able to help them to overcome. So we'll begin to pray for them. First and foremost, a minister is a person authorized by the church to perform duties and a missionary is a person sent to or on a religious mission to promote Christianity in a foreign land or country. So we're going, we're going to begin to give thanks to God for the lives of all our ministers, all our pastors, for God sparing their lives to see this new day and for the salvation of their souls. Let's go ahead and give thanks to God. Father, we thank you for all our ministers all our pastors in the redeemed christian church of god and in all other nations of the world other ministries in the world father we thank you for the salvation of their souls thank you for the day they received the call to salvation lord we thank you for this new day thank you for this brilliant day beautiful day that you have chosen to remember them as we pray for them all over the world lord we thank you because we will answer our prayers over all our ministers and pastors in jesus name we pray amen Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the missionaries in RCCG, national and international fields. Lord, we thank you for all the missionaries in RCCG, those serving in the nation Nigeria and those serving in other nations of the world. Lord, we thank you for all our pastors. Thank you for all our ministers. Thank you, Lord, for the commitment. Thank you for the courage, Lord, to live outside the nation, to live in strange and foreign lands. Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their families. Thank you, Lord, for their ministries. Thank you, Lord, for their health. Thank you, Lord, for their blessings. Thank you, Lord, for all the good things in their lives. Be glorified, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for showing all the missionaries your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for showing all the missionaries your mercy. It is your mercy that does not allow the enemy to consume them, that does not allow the wish and the counsel of the enemies to come to pass over their lives. Lord, we thank you for your speaking mercy, for your enduring mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your everlasting mercy that is poured out upon all our pastors and missionaries all over the world as they serve you in their various fields, in the various capacities that you have committed them to. Lord, we say thank you for all pastors, ministers, and missionaries all over the world. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, for your mercies upon their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say, Father, we thank you for all your missionaries who left their families and countries 
to dangerous parts of the world to preach boldly the message of salvation to perishing souls. Father, we thank you for all missionaries. Thank you for all ministers who have left the comfort zone of their own house, of their, of their own cultural group, who have left their families to travel to strange lands, strange countries, to extend the gospel, to preach the good news. Lord, we thank you for their lives. Thank you, Lord, for the passion. Thank you for the commitment. Thank you, Lord, for the ability to preach a word with boldness, even in strange land, to strange people. Be glorified, O oh God. We say thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, please protect all missionaries and families from the strong man in every mission field in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you protect all our missionaries and ministers from the strong men, forces of darkness, prevalent on the lands where they serve. Father, protect them, protect their families, protect their belongings, protect their resources, protect their properties. Father, please let them not suffer loss. Let them not suffer defeat. Let them not suffer any form of destruction from the stronghold, from the powers that be in the lands where they are serving. Lord, we cover them in the blood of Jesus. We ask that they are protected, they are shielded. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven, you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, make all missionaries to be righteous and bold. In the name of Jesus, Lord, your word declares that the righteous is as bold as lion. We pray you will make all the missionaries to be righteous, to be in right standing with you, and to be bold to face the enemies, to dare the enemies. Father, to take the battles to the gates of the enemies and to prevail. Father, Lord, help them to live in righteousness, to live in holiness. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, let them be bold, courageous in their spirit man, in their mental abilities, in their physical strength. Lord, we pray that you will help them to be bold and to be courageous to do the work you have given to them and to excel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, preserve all missionaries from evil attacks of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Father, preserve all missionaries from evil attack. In the name of Jesus, a thousand may fall by their right, ten thousand by their left. Lord, let none be before them. Let none overcome them. Protect them, O God, from every evil attack in the lands where they serve, that the enemies will not be able to triumph over them and their loved ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, as many challenges and hardship faced by missionaries in the mission field, make them to conquer. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray you will help all our missionaries to conquer against all challenges, all tough times, all terrible times that they may be suffering, they may be going through now. Help them to prevail, help them to overcome, help them to excel. In the name of Jesus, Father, please let them conquer. You have declared upon them that they are more than conquerors through your love for them. Lord, because they are propagating your gospel, they are sharing your good news. Father, let them overcome all challenges. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 10. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the sacrifice made by missionaries living all to do your work may will not be in vain in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus the sacrifices of your missionaries to sacrifice their comfort zone their families their businesses whatever they've left behind lord let these sacrifices not be in vain in the name of jesus let their sacrifices be greatly rewarded lord let their blessings be released unto them they will not work in vain they will not serve in vain they will not labor in vain in the name of jesus we pray for all our missionaries they will not labor in vain their sacrifices will not go unrewarded in jesus mighty name we pray amen we say father in the name of jesus put down all barriers standing against missionaries missionary work all over the world in the name of jesus every barrier against the success of missionary work all over the nations of the world, we pull them down, we destroy them. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. O Lord, our God, arise, arise on behalf of this nation. 
on behalf of all the missionaries in this nation and in other nations of the world in the name of Jesus. Every barrier to the success of their ministry, Lord, we destroy, we break them down. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, give to the missionaries the keys to open physical and spiritual gates to take over the world for Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you will give to the missionaries keys to open physical and spiritual gates to gain access to strong places, high places in the lands and nations that you have positioned them in the name of Jesus, Lord, release the key into their hands, spiritual and physical. In the name of Jesus, no force of hell will be able to stop them. No opposition from the pit of hell will be able to overcome them. You will grant them access to great places, access to the heart of men. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for urgent interventions with which you deliver your missionaries in times of persecution and peril in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for urgent intervention. As you intervened for Apostle Paul on his missionary journeys, Lord, we thank you for urgent intervention for the success of all our missionaries and ministers all over the world, wherever they are serving. Lord, arise on their behalf. Intervene for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, that in every challenge that they are going through, they will see your help, they will enjoy your help they will not be left alone in the name of jesus lift up your head to your gate and every everlasting door be ye lifted that the king of glory may come in for all ministers and missionaries god will prevail for you in that land where you serve in the name of jesus and as a minister yourself as you pray this prayer god will support you god will stand by you your hands will not be weak everything you need to succeed where god has positioned you to serve god shall be released upon your life in jesus mighty name we pray amen and finally, you say, Father, give your church the heart of fervent and persistent prayer. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask that you will give your church the heart of fervent, persistent prayers. In the name of Jesus, Father, to all your church members, to all your ministers, Lord, to all the workers, to all the pastors, to all the missionaries, Lord, release the burden for soul fervency of prayers in the name of jesus let the revival come upon your church afresh in the name of jesus as you as you pray this prayer the revival power of god is coming upon you the fresh grace of the most High is coming upon you to pray fervently to seek god to tarry and wait upon him receive that strength in jesus mighty name we pray amen lord we thank you for answers to our prayers over all our missionaries and ministers we thank you because they are encouraged we thank you because they are revived we thank you lord because all their works will be deeply rewarded greatly rewarded and their lives will be filled with divine testimonies of your mighty works in their lives and in their ministries thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray amen as you have taken time out to pray for missionaries and ministers God will answer all your own private personal prayers in the name of Jesus. And before the end of these 50 days fasting and prayers, you will share your testimonies in Jesus' name. If this is your first time on this platform, haven't prayed this prayer, please like this video and share with other people. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so that when we drop our prayer points here, you will get to receive them and pray them throughout the day. Till I come your way again tomorrow if Jesus tarries, my name is Olumede Odessoya. See you later. Bye for now.